All right, so we came to do the courthouse rock trail because the roaring motor fork trail was closed for the drive and there's not a lot of parking. So this one is an off trail. We followed all trails and we parked right here in this thing and we're gonna head um, right there to the entrance of the trail. Right on our way to courthouse rock. Courthouse Rock Trail is a 2.3 mile trail in the Smoky Mountains. It meanders through a river, you come to a waterfall, and then you eventually come to Courthouse Rock where the Cherokees used to hold court. Oh my gosh, so pretty. <laughs> That's the best part so far. There's no one on the trail but us. It's literally us and us. So I don't know if you can find that anywhere else in the Smoky Mountains. We're just always walking up trails full of people on all those main hikes. So this is actually an un, like an unmarked trail. It's like not official with the Smoky Mountain National Park, but it is, as you can see, a trail. So it's not official and they don't clean it up or anything, but it's really well, I don't know, worn. And all you have to do is hop over a few branches here and there. So to be in solitude and hiking in the Smoky Mountains, I'll take it. Parking tips at the end of this video. Yeah, like you'll see here, if you're not cool with like climbing over this kind of stuff. Trail might not be for you, but like I said, it's not anything that's, I don't know, not anything to hinder you from taking it in my opinion. So, so far we do like this trail. Hopefully it ends up cool. You fight back. I don't think you fight back any bear. Yes. You do? Yeah. Black, the Brown bears, you run away because they'll kill you. Black bears, you make yourself big, right? No. Black bears, you fight back. Jake thinks you fight the black bears. It's fine. Saw our first people on the whole trail. First half mile or so is fairly flat, and then after you cross this river, it starts to gradually go on an incline. Well, in, this. And now we're gonna go across the river up there by. We're about to cross this river where I just showed you. We've been going up just the whole time. First it was flat. Now it's just going up and up. We went like 0.75 of a mile and you get to these big rocks. Quick little history note, this is called Moonshine Cave. A family called the Quillums lived here long ago and they used this part of the cave as a refrigerator and created a refrigeration system from the stream. All right, we're almost, I think we did like 300 meters of elevation so far. And here we are. That's a little bit. We're gonna oh, keep on terrifying. walking. And there is a giant rock with a ledge hanging over. All right, Holy cow. Wow. Right it's hard to tell how far rock? it goes, but pretty cool. Oh, onward and upward. Up, girl. She's trying to turn around. Here's the view when you walk a little bit further. What? Gorgeous. And you can get a really awesome picture on this rock. It's not dangerous if you stand at the front and have somebody else stand over here. Take your picture. All right, onward and upward. Next stop, right here. Another rock down the mountain. See the road actually way down there. More on, we see this rock, <laughs> lots of fallen rocks. You do go up the whole way, so if you're not one for incline, so far it's been a lot of up. Where's this taking you? This still continuing? Yeah. Finally, we reached Courthouse Rock. We're here at the big old rock, the top of the rock. You see beautiful view. 
And then the rock right on the cliff here. Ow! Hit my head on a stupid... Sorry. And my daughter, who's in the best mood after hiking all that way. Oh, look at those faces of excitement and wonder. <laughs> After Courthouse Rock, you can also continue on to Quillam Cave, which is about another half a mile up past Courthouse Rock. We looked it up and they said this is the largest and only freestanding rock structure in all the Smoky Mountain National Park. And that the Cherokee Indians used to use Courthouse Rock to do their trials. So, yeah, smooth on all four sides. You can't really... You can't really um, climb it if you want it, but you can walk around it. <clears throat> Mom, where are you going? Check it out. That's how wide it is. All the way down where they're standing to where I'm standing. And then all the way up. Big old spot of quartz. You can see the layer my husband said where it was volcano. It's all layery. Lava. Keep your eye out for quartz and other spots on the trail Whoa. too. Right, so on our so way back, we took a little to shortcut to the left to come down to this waterfall we heard. Boom, and you could find it right here. I think it might be called Abram's Falls. Actually, I really don't know, I don't wanna lie. Um, but anyway, on your way back from the rock place, if you take a little turn off, it's right there. You'll hear it and know to turn. This is our turn off I was just talking about. You have to do have to go down and up a little bit more, but pretty cool waterfall. There's that one too. And yeah, like a three-tiered little thing going on. Okay, there's that one, a little one right there, and then one further down, you can see. Pretty cool area. Mom, you going to go right there? No, it's super slippery. Yeah, nice little stop off, and it took us like literally two minutes off the main trail to get here not even so take a trip and stop oh, here. And if you click directions on all trail it actually has you park like a half a mile away from the trailhead and you can park right at the trailhead so if you use the all trails just keep going until you actually see that your blue dot on all trails is right where it shows you the trailhead because you can park right there there's only room for three cars but we got a spot on a um, like 11 30 on a random day so not too hard and then you don't have to walk all the extra time. We loved this trail. It had waterfalls, rushing river, three different lookout points, and everything you could want in a hike.